Many Ohioans spent part of the year on their phones betting on sports. 2023 was the first year with legal sports betting in Ohio. This comes with some reminders as it's time to do your taxes. As the popularity of sports betting has grown, so has the number of questions tax experts have been getting about how it affects taxes. It's often a surprise to people that their winnings are taxable, you know, which is the first thing that we often uh, catch people off guard with. Mark Steber is the chief tax information officer with Jackson Hewitt Tax Services. He says based on high enough winnings, some bettors and the IRS will be sent W-2Gs from the betting company. Others won't receive forms, but Sieber says they still need to report. You don't have to cash out to have a reportable transaction in gaming or in cryptocurrency, that you have income, that you have a win. And I'll put it this way as I tell my sons, if you're happy, you probably have a reportable tax event. According to Steber, taxpayers are taxed when they win, not when they accept or withdraw money. But there's no de minimis. It's not less than 600. It's not less than 10,000. If you win a dollar, it's supposed to be on your tax return. Steber's recommendations to sports bettors, do the research about this if you're doing taxes yourself, and don't be afraid to reach out to tax pros with questions. It's a lot like a lot of things in taxes. What? I owe money on that? If you're happy, odds are you probably have something that you need to report. And the deadline to file your taxes is a little more than two months away on April 15th, but it never hurts to get them done early. Local for you in Columbus, I'm Eric Halpern, NBC4.